10. Seven days later, the waters of the flood appeared on the earth. You can't put the other material in there because the two is from the other narrative. In the Yahweh's narrative, it's seven. Now, it's very odd. one of the reasons that we've got seven here for the Yahweh's is that in the Yahweh's line, Noah's going to make a sacrifice at the end of this. And he's going to kill some of the animals. Well, you see, if he kills some of the animals, he's killing off all the species. You can't make a sacrifice and have all the species live. So the Yahweh is quite aware of that. So he knows mankind sacrifices clean animals, not unclean animals. So for the clean animals, he's going to get more than one pair. So they can do some sacrificing, you see. <laughs> That's, and it's really weird. That's where these labels fall out. Because to call this one priestly, and yet the other is interested in priestly things like sacrifice, and has seven instead of two as the number of the clean animals so that we don't get to a problem of ending a species at the end of this little trip here. Uh, you know, the Yahweh at this point seems more interested in priestly things than the Yahweh's. But anyway, be that as it may. Um, line 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day, oh, I know where we are. We're back in the priesthood. We're back in the know-it-all person. He knows exactly how old Noah was. He knows exactly what day it appeared on the 17th day of the, of, of the second month. He knows exactly when the flood waters appeared. That very day, all the springs of the great deep broke through the sluices in the heaven opened. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to where the Yahweh had, had uh, up. Line 10. Seven days later, the waters of the flood appeared on the earth. That's how the Yahweh expresses that. And he's only interested in, he's got a different calendar scale than the Elohim. And if you put the two together, you're in total, you can't, you can't do anything with this story. So how come for thousands of years no one ever saw these problems in the text? Because people are, people don't read for themselves. They intone. The priest or the minister or the rabbi or whomever says, okay, everybody read. And they read out loud, and they have no understanding of what they're reading. They just go, and that's it. And that's why we have universities. And that's why, really, we should have more people in this class. Uh, the problem is in the way that GE has been laid out uh, in these classes. And uh, in our department, we used to fill these classes up because we didn't have these uh, big, huge sections of classes for uh, basically numbskull classes, uh, introductory classes with 150 students or something in them, so that they don't take the other courses that are, that are introductory courses, which are more depth, like these courses. And uh, we didn't have those classes. We only had these classes, so all people wanted a rich studies credit took these classes. But they've rearranged the classes in the department, and um, they've drained the, the, the life out of these classes and uh, for those huge classes that are just a total requirement. Which is, uh, you know, maybe it's good for the university, but it's bad for the department. In any event, uh, forget that. I'm just uh, trying to explain that these are the kind of classes that are really people who are Bible people should take, because then their mind could be opened up. Whereas a class like that, I'm describing introduction to religion or American religious diversity, our big huge section classes, no one's mind's going to be open up to anything. They're just superficial, you know, like bonehead English classes. And uh, these are the kind of classes that people need to take who are interested in religion of any kind, and uh, unfortunately that's not the way things are happening uh, anymore in the department. But, be that as it may, we're here, and we can see this, and it is really interesting information. It's not my information. If you want a good description of this, look at the Anchor Bible. They, they, they cut the whole thing up for you there. Uh, basically the results of modern academic scholarly research. I never saw any of this when I read the Bible, frankly. So I'm no better than most people. I don't pretend to be better. But once you see it, uh, the, you see that this is happening. Okay, the time frame. 
40 days and 40 nights. First, the awe was seven days later, then 40 days and 40 nights it rained. Line 13, back to the priestly elements. That very day, Noah and his son, Shem, Ham, and Jeff had boarded the ark. Oh my God, I thought we'd already been on the ark. Uh, oh, line 7. Noah with his son's wife and his son's wife boarded the ark. We already boarded the ark. How come we already boarded the ark? Because that's a different narrative line. And the editor is splicing the two together really haphazardly in some way, the best he can. He's just got his scissors. He's going, take this here, paste it out there. Tell me what you do. You know, uh, cut and paste. Okay, this here, this here, this here, this here. And he's basically got an narrative to satisfy most people for ends of time, right? Okay. So, and the Elois Priestly, I'm calling it Elois now because it's an E text, uses God. He, 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 he's careful about names to uh, the Elois says no with his sons and his wife and his sons' wives. He, he, he's not so careful with names. This guy wants to know it's Shem, Ham, and Japheth because he's interested in the genealogy. Boarded the ark with Noah's wife, three wives and his sons, with them wild beasts of every kind, cattle of every kind, reptiles of every kind, crawls on the earth, birds. Oh, that's just like the first creation story. Reptiles of every kind, the crawls on the earth, birds of every kind, all the flies, everything wings. One pair of all that is flesh. Now, now that's not what they always said. You see that? How many can't see that? They always said seven of the clean, two of the unclean, seven of all the birds. You don't have to be a genius to see this, actually. Although it actually is extremely intelligent to have someone work this out. And so they went, male and female, every creature that is flesh, just as God ordered them. And then, in 16 at the end, and Yahweh closed the door. That's Yahweh's. That should tack on to line 12. It rained on the earth for 40 days and 49, then Yahweh closed the door behind Noah. Don't need the stuff in between. The flood lasted 40 days on the earth. The water swelled up in the ark until it was raised above uh, the earth. Now, I don't know if it's 40 days and 40 days for the Elvis or just 40 days. You follow me? It, the Elvis originally said that it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And then he says the flood lasted 40 days. Does he mean that it rained for 